up on the high ground for now. That water was getting too deep and the bank was getting too steep. Hey, what is up everybody? My name is David Chambers. You're watching Should Have Worn Shoes. Today is a Saturday. It's almost like mid-morning right now. I'm over here over hunt, checking trail cameras, and I'm thinking, what else can I do today to have a good time? Mama's at home. The kids are at home. She's tired. They're just kind of hanging out right now. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to head over to a local creek. I'm going to spear an awesome, amazing to eat Florida gar, and we're going to cook it on the bank, and it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Let's just go. So I've been here for like, like two minutes maybe, and I see a awesome, perfect size gar, and it's just amazing. And we're gonna head down there and spear it. I gotta sneak up on it. It's really tough to use this throwing spear and film at the same time, but well, I mean, it's actually a, it's actually a sling powered spear. It's actually meant for underwater. Here, I'll show you. So this right here, this is a pull spear. Okay, and look at it. How that works is you grab it like this at the band you stretch your hand all the way down and then as soon as you see a fish ba bang just like that simple as can be now let's go spear this gar it's right there and he's gonna swim off i'm not really really quiet and careful all right, nice gar, amazing to eat, perfect size gar. Not too small, but not too big to where he's just kind of nasty tasting. Man, these gar, they're so good to eat and I can't wait to cook it. But for right now, before we cook it, we gotta catch it, we gotta spear it. And <laughs> I'm gonna do it right now, let's go. One thing about these gar is they have an extremely hard outer shell around their body, almost like a, I'm not sure if it's an exoskeleton, but it's, it's, I mean, it might as well be. It's, a, it, it's like an extremely hard shell, for those of you who don't know. And I've had it before where I had this spear, what I thought was, was enough pulled back, but it wasn't. It just like kind of bounced off of them. So you got to be careful. And the technique here is to shoot them from behind so the spear tip goes up underneath the scales. Total miss. That didn't work out. We just totally missed that gar. Awesome. Don't fall. So here's the deal. Whenever you're shooting something underwater, whether you're bow fishing or spear fishing, you've got to you've got to aim underneath him a bit because the reflection of the water changes your view, and it just got the best of me, as you saw. Totally missed that fish, but that's okay because we're gonna find another one right now. There's no way that we're leaving here without first finding and spearing and catching and cooking and eating an amazing, delicious, awesome gar. So let's keep going. I got a really prickly thorn bush right in between my legs. Oh. ground for now that water was getting too deep and the bank was getting too steep look at the size gar oh you just booked it i just there was a gar just now that was like one of the biggest cars i've ever seen in my life gigantor and i man i got so excited i spooked him off and i can't believe it 
But the good news is that this place is really fishy. I, like I've seen like three or four gar here. So I'm gonna just wait for a bigger one to swim by and we're definitely gonna get them. All right, you guys, so here's the deal. Okay, we just walked like a mile and a half or so through all this crazy, awesome, beautiful jungle down the creek up river here. And I saw some awesome shooting, amazing gar that would have been perfect to eat and cook right here. But I was just missing them, man. I don't, like, I'm not sure why, but my aim has been off. That's just the way it is, you know, I gotta practice. So I'm gonna head back down to the beginning of this thing where I know that I'll be able to set up nice and get on some gar and we're gonna make it happen. Let's head down there. There's a gar right in front of me, right in front of me, look. He's sitting right there. We finally got a gar. Man, that thing, he's not as big as I'd like him to be, but he's a perfect size eating. I can guarantee you that. And man, look at him. He's just, look at those teeth though. Those things are gigantic. I would hate for one of them to get a hold of me, that's for sure. Now, it's time to cook him up. Rock hard shell, very slimy, super sharp looking teeth, crazy looking teeth. All right, you guys, so we are down here back at the house. You know, I, so two things happened down there at the river. Number one, I forgot water and I was like dying of thirst. And mosquitoes were everywhere. I was sweating crazy hot, no water, not a good situation. But number two, and most importantly, my camera battery died and I couldn't film anymore. So we're back here in the backyard with the kids. We're gonna go ahead and cook that gar back here right now. There's more ingredients here, it'll work out better. So let's go. That's a, that's a, that's a gar. And he's slimy and dirty, so very dry now. There's our gar. He's still on the spear tip here. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna just uh, take that off. You wanna see him? Here. Ooh, let's keep looking at you, careful. That is a garfish. So we're gonna cook it, we're gonna eat it. Go ahead and rinse it off real good. Make sure it's nice and clean. Get that slime off. And all I'm going to be using today, you guys, is a pair of like snips for, for like garden snips, actually, and a pocket knife. This pocket knife, it's sharp enough, and it's what I was going to use out in the woods. So that's what we're going to use right here. First thing I'm going to do is grab this gar. Look how cool he is. And we're going to give him a nice cut right here, right on top right there. And from there, I'm just gonna cut down. So think of this right here as being a spine, okay? Cut straight down, I hope these work. They work enough. Yeah, they work. Normally I use um, like aluminum snips, like aluminum scissors, but I couldn't find them, so we're using these. And from here, I'm gonna cut down right here. I'm just gonna go right in there. I'm just kinda, right there. So now, same thing on the other side of the spine. Just grab your snips and cut straight down. It's actually working better flipped over this way. I'm gonna see if I can just separate the shell here. Like, get a finger in there, just like that. So look, all I've done, I've used no knife. Ever since that shell came off, I've used no knife, only my thumb to separate that shell. See that? Just my thumb. And the whole thing is coming right off. Now, one thing about these gar is that these gar, their row, their eggs are toxic. Like, it isn't like caviar to where you can just eat them. Um, it's, you don't, you don't want them on your meat at all. Um, they're poisonous to humans. So you want to avoid letting the egg row touch your meat, your fillets. But if it does, it's okay. Just, just make sure that you rinse off very well. 
And right now I'm just kind of cutting this off of the spine just like you would any other fish when you're filleting, see? And that's the row I'm talking about. That right there, that is row and you do not want to eat that. There's our gar fillet. Put him right there for now. Look at that. That right there is a beautiful fillet. You know what? When you see a gar, whenever I grew up catching gar, like with my dad and things down in the Everglades, I never thought of them as an edible fish, but apparently they are. And after seeing that meat being so white and thick and good like that, you know that it's gotta be good to eat. So I was gonna use um, like more fancy ingredients, but I thought, you know what? No, like this is fine. I want to actually taste the gar. So I've got some oil, some honey, and I've got some, some of this gator hammock, uh, gator sprinkle stuff, which is amazingly good by the way. I've also got this stuff right here. It's like a squeezed garlic puree. It's perfect for like on the go cooking. And we're gonna use our little camping primitive pen right there. So the fire, it's still pretty big, but that's okay because it's gonna die down really quickly. Get that pan nice and hot. We're camping right now, you guys. Here's our fish. Grab some gator hammock. Oh yeah. Now, if you notice, I put the uh, I put the season side down, so now I can season the top of it. <laughs> Ooh, gator sprinkle is a little spicy. I just kind of went up my nose. This right here is a garlic puree. Garlic burns super fast. We're gonna wait off on that for a second. But the honey, burnt honey, is an amazing thing. So we're gonna do that. That looks amazing. All right, that looks done to me. I think it's gonna be good. It smells amazing. That is better than most fish taste, if you ask me, especially freshwater fish. All right, man is an interesting, oh, right? No. <laughs> I knew that was That's garlic. Is it good? What? That's a stick, you're absolutely right. Hey, you want some fish? Want some fish? Let me see what you, let me see if you guys like it. Here, I'll blow it. Blow. Here, here, try it. <laughs> Is that good? Yum, yum. Lukey's good? Is it tasty, Lukey? Well, it's still in his mouth and on the ground, so I'm assuming that it's tasty. A little more? <laughs> I guess that means it's good. Hi right, guys, we just demolished that plate. It was super good. The kids loved it, I loved it, Amanda liked it. And uh, you know, I wouldn't say that it tastes like lobster like I've heard. That's kind of uh, a little, little far if you ask me. I love lobster, lobster's amazing. But it tastes like really, really good fish, especially for a freshwater fish. And if you get a gar, I encourage you to eat it. But again, be careful with that egg roll. It's very toxic, not good for you. But hey, thanks for watching this video. Really appreciate you guys. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. And I gotta get the kids inside, gotta clean it up and call it a night. See you soon.